Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Reminis and it's the second part of the video series on how to mix a Punjabi song. Um, I thought I'd focus on vocals next. Uh, the previous video, you can see the notes in the description if you want to watch it, was dealing with balance and panning. Today we're going to deal with vocals because vocals is the most important part of the song. Without the vocals, it would be no song, okay? So we're going to do that. Um, instead of doing this from scratch, because it's going to take too long, I actually did all the vocal. Uh, there's only one vocal track in this record. Um, I don't think I mentioned it, but this is actually one of my songs that I sang ages ago. The track is called Giovanni. I just never did anything with it or released it. Um, again, I'm using this because I own the rights to it, so YouTube won't have an, uh, an issue with it. Okay, so I'm going to play the vocals again. I don't know if you remember what they sounded like, but this is raw with no processing and um, nothing on it, so here we go. Okay, so I mean, the vocal recording was okay. It's nothing too crazy. Um, I'm gonna put everything back on and then we'll go through them individually but uh, let's put everything back on so this is with all my effects and EQ settings compressor settings everything now have a listen to them aha you like that eh pretty good yeah, I thought they'd sound pretty good. Um, I'm just going to turn this down so I can kind of talk over stuff just a little bit. Okay, so let's go through the vocal track. So the first thing I do, usually when I get vocals, and I didn't do it for this one just because, to be honest, I was lazy. I'll actually go in and automate uh, the vocals in terms of the rides, right? So typically what happens is the vocal will come in, you know, very dynamic in range, and, you know, there's like low spots and high spots. And yes, I agree, you can stick it through compressor. But my goal is to get, you know, signal to the compressor so the comp clean, so the compressor doesn't have to do a lot of work. Now, what do I mean by that? And I'll show you what I do here. So the first thing I do is I put on Vocal Rider. So when I play this again, you'll see what it does. It actually automates the vocal for you. So let's just hit play. See that? Now, if I bypass that. hear the dips right so, so that fixes that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through these individual let's turn these guys off okay so the next thing I do is I go in and try to try to clean up stuff that I don't like again this is just stuff I don't you know sonically I don't like it or try to fix some room issues so what I've done here is um, you know Dilla basically I rolled off on the on the low end because you don't need that in the vocals. Um, you, again, you don't need all that stuff. And here's some frequencies I just didn't like, and I'll kind of go through this. So let's um, let me loop this for you. So let's bypass this. See if you can hear the difference. I don't know if you can tell, but like when I unbypass it, so it's the raw vocal. It's very, it's very, it's very bottom heavy and kind of really muffly. So this cleans it up. And then here's some of the frequencies that I was messing around with. Let's just, I'll show you. So that one I didn't like. That one I didn't like. Again, I'll bypass it. So you can see, you know, it made it made it it made a made a significant difference to me. It's more of a feel thing, right? Rolling off all the bottom end stuff. Which, you know, again, you don't need it. And then um, let's see here. The next thing I did is get ready for my compressor. So my weapon of choice in terms of compressor, and I've used this actually in hardware uh, in the studio. It's either this, the eleven seventy six or the CL CLA two A. I love this thing. Um, absolutely love this really smooths out the vocals and I actually I like that compressed sound so let me uh, play it for you 
uh, bypassed. Here it is engaged. It's nice, it's just nice, it, it really um, tightens up the vocals, puts a nice crisp on them and some really cool harmonics. And then the next thing I usually do after the compressor is I de it. So what I'll do for this is let me go to a part where there's some um, S's. Uh, I think it's this one. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to loop this guy. So I don't know if you can hear that. It really polished out the S's. Um, I had to play around with this because the the original vocal wasn't too bad. Um, I basically ride it hard, like about halfway, the fader. And then I'll just move around the frequencies till I hear something that I like. Then I'll just kind of push it off. That's, you know, it, it's not really a hard set um, way to DS. You just got to play by ear. So I'll play that again. Just bypassed. So the key is listen to that hasade hasade, yeah? Here it comes. See with the DS it really cleans it up, makes it really sharp. So that's that's pretty much the repair work are done. And then now I was actually getting the EQ to sit right in the mix. And my weapon of choice was the um Waves Q10 paragraphic equalizer. And then what I do here is you can see the curve. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, let's play this. Here it is engaged. I mean, it, you know, it's pretty dramatic. I, I cleaned it up pretty well. I mean, it doesn't look like much, but, you know, 3K, that's your uh, golden spot right there. That's where... Um, cuts through the radio. That's the secret, you know, key frequency right there. And I wanted the top end to shine really through. Um, just to let you know, my my reference for this mix, I found one is an older song by Guy, and it's called "Tell Me What You Like." So that's what I'm basing this mix off. I can't play it for you because of copyrights. But if you want to listen to that song again, it's by Guy, G U I, and the song is called "Tell Me What You Like." Um, so yeah, let's play that again. So that's without no EQ. Here comes the EQ right now. So yeah, I like that. Sounds pretty good. And then um, the next thing I do is uh, max bass. Now, when you hear the vocals, I found I found them very kind of thin. They're 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 EQ'd right in the right ballpark, but it needed some meat and some guts to kind of fill in the mix. And this is a secret weapon that I learned from a uh, a friend of mine, Ken Lewis. Um, you know, he, this guy's a great engineer. He did he did a lot of work with 50 Cent. Um, so I'm going to play this for you. And, um, you know, you can use Max Bass for a lot of things. Um, there's a preset that I use. I think it's called the uh, Dave Pensado, Pensado Vocal. And I just play around with this Max Bass setting right here. So here it is bypassed. Here it is in. So I don't know if you can hear that or not. I'll try it again. So this is bypass. It's kind of like sitting. Don't really feel it now. I don't know, just me. It kind of jumped out in the mix. It brought some really nice harmonics. And then the last thing I do. This is usually the last thing on my vocal chain. And this is on every vocal chain that I ever pushed out in the last five years since I've had these uh, Waze plugins as Arvox. It's just, I don't know what it does. It just just throws it right in front of the mix. I really like this a lot. Um, I'm again, these are just general compressions. I like to do stuff, you know, very, very sort of, you know, I don't hit things hard. I, you know, I use certain things for certain elements. And then at the end of it, all these little things add up to one big thing. I don't, I don't know if that made sense or not, but you'll understand what I mean. So here it is bypassed. Now it's engaged. Engaged. 
Do you hear that? It just jumped right out the front. I love this plugin on vocals. Absolutely love it. Okay, so that's the EQ and compressor settings taken care of. Now it's time for the effects. Um, usually what I do, the first thing is um, I'll set up a basically a widener for the vocals because right now when you listen to them, they're kind of like dead center. I want to give the vocals a bit more room and some width. So what I do is set up basically a softer harmonizer. And again, this is a Dev, uh, Dave Pensato trick that I've seen him do you know, multiple times. And it's basically a doubler with a, an EQ and then basically stereo imager and just widen it a bit. Okay, so it goes to the doubler first. Now these numbers don't really matter as long as you're within the Hawes effect. That's the main thing, right? And I'm just detuning it a little bit and I'm turning off the, uh, the direct. So it's only affecting the left and right. Okay, so I can leave that up there for a second if you want to see those settings. The next thing I do, I just, um, you know, I don't want to send it uh, with its with the stock sort of sound because you won't really hear the effect. So I've got a, some EQ about 7K just to give a little bit of difference so you actually hear it. it makes a difference. And then here's the widener, which I use. It's just a stereo imager. I push it up, you know, just a tiny bit. I don't want it too wide. But um, this, this, um, this really makes a huge difference. So I'm going to play the vocal now. Just. I don't think you can hear that or not. Try it again. Let's bypass it. Engaged. So well, here's what I'll do. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exaggerate it a bit so you, you understand what I'm saying. So let's play this. Yeah, that's the, that's that's exaggerated. So now if I pause it or mute it, sorry. See that? It's in the middle now. Now engaged. See how it widens it? It's really nice. It? Somewhere there. All right. Now for the effects. Um, I like dry vocals. But this song, I think the vibe and the feel, it needed a little bit of effects just to put the vocal in the right sort of frame of mind and in the environment. So what I've done is I've got a couple of, uh, I've got one reverb set up. It's just an R-verb with a vocal plate and I just played around with the pre-delay, the time, the early reflections, sorry, the early reflections here to the point where, you know, it sounded nice to me again. You can use stock if you want. I, I wanted a hint of, you know, of space, nothing too crazy. Now, I don't know if you're going to hear this or not, but it's more of a feel thing. And then what I always do is I always EQ my my effects just because you'll never hear them otherwise. It just gets drowned into the mix. So that's kind of like what I do. Um, I'll see if I can exaggerate this. So let's play this. Solo it for a second. So that's it exaggerated. Dry. With some reverb. Again, just a little bit. See, in the mix, you can't really tell. Let me unsold that. It's not bad. Again, because of the feel of the track, I wanted to give it a little bit of delay again just for some space and dimension. And I use two... I use kind of two delays. I'll use a, a eighth note and a quarter note. Um, I'm gonna put them both on. Let's hear this now. I can solo this. So. So let's mute the delays there. So this is the eighth note. I'll exaggerate it. This is Again, those effects, I've got um, EQs on them. So, uh, they blend in the mix. Alright, what's I got? Oh, yes, okay, now, 
I'm going to play this part and you're going to hear some uh, effects I did with the delays. And I, and I left this up and I drew them in. I'll show you what they do. Let me just play this for you. Let me just un, uh, engage that guy. All right, let's play this. Okay, I don't know if you hear that there, but let me just solo this for you. And then let's play it again. So. So those throws, basically what I've done is I've set up another uh, bus. I've got uh, H delay with a um, halftime delay set to ping pong. So what that does is when it hits the delay, it'll ping the uh, delay left to right. And right after that again, I've EQ'd it a bit. Not as harsh as the other ones because um, I wanted a bit more smoother. It wasn't about the cut, it's more of a feel thing. Then I send that to a flanger just to give it kind of a you know dimension, a different feel. And then finally I widen it a bit um, just because I wanted that space and get it out of the way of the middle. So I'll play that again for you. Actually, I'll play, I'll play this bit and then you hear it. So again, it's subtle, right? But if I play it in the mix here, you still get, you can still hear it. And there you guys have it. That's the vocal chain for um, the song I'm working on, Juani. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video and share it. Um, once again, please join, or sorry, please subscribe to the channel. That always stay up to date with the latest, greatest information. I will also put up some more videos on this mix. I'll probably work on the drums next because that's what I usually do. So stay tuned for that. Guys, take care. I'm DJ Reminis.